Got it all formed up, ready for concrete in about an hour. Thickened edge, slab, 26 by 35. This is gonna be a pool house. And this area over here, I wanted to show you, this is gonna be a shower pan. So we got some two by three forming in. This is the six inch wall for framing. That's full height, that's grade. Those are our grade nails every 16 inches on the blue line. That's for the drain, a little box so they can get the P trap in after we're done pouring. And then this next box is a sauna. That's a, another room for a sauna. So that's also down three inches so they can have a slope to a drain. Yeah. I like to show you guys different ways to frame up concrete. There's so many ways to do it. And these are our kickers. Going back to the fence posts. Takes a lot of kickers for monolithic single-sided forming. There's nothing holding it but one way. Usually there's spreader cleats holding it each direction, but that's a lot of weight going on there. Yeah, got a strip footing down the center. It's gonna take a lot of mud. Hopefully under 30 yards, because we got three trucks coming. strip in the morning it's ready for tile over the whole thing heated floor it's gonna be really nice That bigger rectangle is the sauna with a floor drain, and then the smaller one is the shower pan with a linear channel drain along the back. It's gonna slope from that edge this way. And then the big pipe is a toilet, sink, some electrical. Pretty nice pool shed. That was a pretty long walk, packing these panels out of here. Give you a view of the house and the pool. This place is Pretty nice. This is what nobody sees. Give you guys a behind the scenes look. This is after work, after work. Drove to the yard where our old flatbed truck is and now I'm gonna proceed to scrape all the panels with a scraper. Not just this side and the back side, all six sides. Cause there's two edges running the length and two edges on the end. Get, get them dialed, make these babies last a long time. Yeah, so I'll be here for about half hour scraping these and tucking them in the truck. People think we come and go from their jobs too quickly sometimes. And they're like, hey, you guys just made too much money. But there's a lot of work like this behind the scenes that my dad's done so much stuff over the years. At night or in the morning, loading up stuff, going to Home Depot, gathering materials. There's a lot more to it than what you see at the job sites. summer it hasn't rained here in about four months don't forget to like my video and comment I love your comments whether it's positive or negative comment I will reply to every single comment constructive criticisms always welcomed there's always something to learn from everyone thanks for watching